Charles needs no introduction. Um, my business partner, my, my one of my closest friends, Charles Simone. Just for just for a minute here, Charles. Thanks, Eric. I'm really uh, really proud of you and uh, this undertaking. Just talking about the risk of this investment, I, I have to say that uh, that, that uh, when I made my, my investment, I thought that it, it, uh, I had exactly the sentiments that the other investors did. Um, on the other hand, if I knew that my, my friend and neighbor was mortgaging his home to invest into the company, I would have been, I would have advised against that. You shouldn't mortgage your home. And in a sense, you know, our country is in, in, in that state in some ways, and I don't think that, that this would be an appropriate investment for NASA, and uh, as a taxpayer, I certainly wouldn't be uh, super happy if I, if I saw an announcement from NASA uh, to the, uh, for this, but uh, I think that, that this is where private enterprise comes in, and, the, and the, the, just the genius of the, of the, of the system is that, that um, private investors can take the risk, and will try all the different business models. It's a, a, a little bit similar to what happened in the in the internet uh, the internet bubble that actually worked out uh, worked out for the best uh, for the for, for society as a whole some investors of course were incredibly successful full. other investors uh, lost lost uh, their money um, everybody remembers uh, pets.com i think uh, but um, but overall uh, in 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 the long run uh, we tried all the different models, and, and now it's the, the, the society and, and, and the world is, is, is much richer for it. And I think it's the, this, the same thing is going to happen here. It is what, when I hear these descriptions, it does remind me of the early days of the personal computer world when, when um, of course, Bill was talking about a computer on every desk, which was a shocking, a shocking idea. Computers were these big boxes. That that uh, the corporations owned and and cost millions of dollars. How can you have something like that on every desk? It's it's if it's it's impossible even by its size. And of course, it was the um, just changing the whole paradigm and 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 working on reducing the cost and increasing the numbers and increasing the number of tries and bringing in in, in new people and, and new thinking uh, that 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 really changed changed the world. And, uh, and of course, Moore's law, increasing, increasing performance by, by factors of million, millions. And we thought that in the physical world, in the information world, it's, it's now we think that it's natural to, for things to grow exponentially. And so it is in, in genetics. But in the physical world, we haven't seen that exponential growth. You know, we don't have million times more powerful cars or million times more efficient cars than we had um, <coughs> Uh, the, the things improve, but not by that great factors. And so when I hear these incredible astronomical numbers that come from, 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 from space resources, that reminds me that bringing exponential numbers into the physical world is, is, an, is an amazing uh, uh, new prospect that, that we have. And from my experience, when I was on the station, it was crystal clear as, 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 as you guys so eloquently said, that the, the water, the cost of water on the station and the cost of the finest uh, of photographic equipment was approximately the same because it was really just the, the, the mass that, that, that mattered. And uh, being able to bring a billion tons of water at once to, to, and, and make it accessible uh, that, that, that will completely uh, change, change the situation. And it's, it's, it's for fuel and, and, and who knows what else. Uh, for, for shielding, of course, there's a... Um, the other thing I learned at space, and, and Tom can, can speak to that too, is that space is not a benign environment. There, is a, uh, there are a lot of problems with, with, the, with the human occupation of space. Uh, the, the, the lack of gravity seems to interfere with the physiological processes, but, but imagine that, 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 that if we have billions of tons of material, um, that, would, that, would, that would change the picture. We can have centrifuges, we could have swimming pools, um, and, uh, and we can have adequate shielding against radiation, which is the, uh, 
The lack of gravity and radiation are basically the two biggest problems uh, for, for, for humans uh, to, to be in space. But anyway, I just wanted to say that I'm, I'm very, very excited about, uh, about what, what you guys are doing. I'm very proud of you, and I just, just feel privileged to be a part of it. Thank you very much.